when you finish a particular study program, let what you think about be how useful will I be in a society? How can I create a job for myself? <music> This evening, I'll be talking about selecting the right course to study or selecting the right study program. There are way more important things to consider before thinking about this right study program. First and foremost, the question is always if you want to make a choice about something, regardless of what it is, it's what is your drive? You know, what, what's pulling you towards this thing? When you want to select a study program, the first thing that should come to mind is do I have passion for this thing I'm doing? And also, it helps a lot if it's related to what you've done in the past. And then the second thing you want to consider, you want to check your network. Ask people who are studying similar things or people who you feel like you like them, okay? People that you kind of look up to, people that you've seen them already working or already studying that course. You contact them first and hear from them what is it like studying this course. And then the next thing you want to think about is the location. I always recommend that you study somewhere that you know one or two people. It's a lot easier when it comes to the language, when it comes to the people, when it comes to getting accommodation, when it comes to getting a job or a student job while working. The need for flexibility, okay, that you can really move around, that you can have access to different kind of opportunities within that location. That's really very important. And then the other point that I have is also like how versatile is this course? You want to partake in the study program that's so specific that at the end of the day, your career prospects are very limited. I would recommend that if you want to select a study program, that you select the study program with broad, I don't know, career opportunities. When you come out, you can find yourself working in different places. You can find yourself very useful in different disciplines, in different areas of life. You can find yourself providing solutions to different problems. I'm gonna give you an example of myself. At the master's level, I decided to go for infection biology. Part of the reasons why I chose that study program is because at the end of the day, I could go several ways. I could continue you know, in research, like do life science research, especially molecular biology. I could also work in the industry, like biotechnology industry. Or if I want, I could also start a new product development. So the study prepares you a lot that you can go in different ways. I could also go into public health, you know, and things like that. So at that level, it's not so specific that you cannot diversify at the end of the day. And then the last thing that I have here is this, do not overthink it. Really, you want to begin the process with the end in mind, okay? You're starting to think about the right study program to go into or to enroll into. And at the same time, you're also thinking about the end result, okay? When you look at the work system currently, it is not so rigid as it used to be in the past. And by that, I mean, you can have an employee that has multiple tasks. So for example, you say you're a sales manager, but your focus is not necessarily on sales. You also take part in business development. You also take part in marketing. You also take part in I don't know, research, whatever. And so I don't think it's going to be easy that you, from the beginning, already think, okay, if I study this program, this is most likely where I'm going to work. Rather, how it is these days, you have more of, on one part, the employees are entrepreneurs, on the other part, they're also employees. So it's like people begin to create job vacancies for themselves within companies. And that's what you want to focus on. You want to think about, okay, if I go into this study program because I have passion for it, I'm going to come out and be able to provide solutions to these, to that, to that, to that. Stop thinking about, okay, am I gonna get a job or not? Rather think about what solution will I provide from studying this course, from taking part in this study program. I think that that should be your, that should be your drive. So the challenges are like, okay, maybe one, the language barrier, that could be a challenge. The educational system, if it's different from your home country, it could also be uh, a challenge. For instance, the entrance qualification that you may have from your home country might not necessarily be the same that you need in that country. So in some cases, you might need to take one or two extra examinations before you qualify. And that being aside, is also the issue of culture, tradition, understanding the people. If you would prepare yourself well in advance, if you would do your background research very well, I think you will find out about all these possible challenges and already get the answers or solutions to them. So just to summarize for tonight, what I really wanted to talk about is this, let your drive for selecting a study program be what solutions that you can provide after 
studying that course. When you finish a particular study program, let what you think about be how useful will I be in a society? How can I create a job for myself? Most companies these days, they take people based also on initiative application. You look into the company, you see what are the problems here. Sometimes they are not able to identify it, but you see from the outside, you prefer solutions to them. There's no vacancy, but you're given a job. That's how it works these days. I've had that experience personally two times and it just drives me crazy, blows my mind. So when you think about what to study, this should be your drive, passion, empathy, solution. These are some of the points that I just wanted to highlight this evening. I hope you found them helpful and I will see you. Peace.